Good morning and welcome back to Classic Large Car Garage. Got a special day today. Another truck. Let's see if we can get it in the frame. Oop, there it is out there. So we're gonna get it unloaded here. So stick around. All right, got some fuel, got some fresh batteries. Let's run out here and get some batteries in it. Walk you through the trees here. There it is, 1982 Kenner K100. It's got the extended day cab. Pretty sweet. So, over here. Try and get some batteries in it, get some fuel in it. Try and get this thing unloaded. And they were in there. Oh. Just approach here, the edge, and I'll adjust the the, <clears throat> the ramps. Yeah. Even if you go 40 miles bad miles per hour, you'll be fine. But it's better just to take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way we like to do it. This probably has air in it since it ran out of fuel. Like my truck, good luck starting if you ran out of fuel. Right. I think this older ones will start better than the new ones. I took the exhaust off, uh, it's in the cap, because it was too hot, yeah. the exhaust, yeah. Yep.
On this unit wow this one I have been trying to purchase for a year and a half finally was able to work out a deal um, and got it purchased out of uh, kind of one of the subdivisions there by uh, Denver Colorado and kind of a nice unit really um, it's clean it's had a few modifications to it, which aren't to my standards. But, 1982 Kenworth K100. It has the, again, 350 Cummins. We got Jake's on it. 13, no. No, I'm gonna have to go look at the transmission now. Take a walk around here with me. We can set it up on the uh, panel up there. Oh, of course it's covered up. Well, we'll just take it for an in-tour, in-tour, <laughs> interior tour. <laughs> uh, let's see. It is a 10 speed. 10 speed. Um, this one's pretty neat. Yeah, right over there. Ah, looks like it's unlocked. Oh, oh you got it. It's got to be smarter than what you're working. <laughs> smarter than the door. Okay, so this one's kind of neat. Um, I don't know if this is factory. I would consider it an extended day cab. And there is a, looks like just a piece of bent conduit up here that somebody made. I don't know if that's factory or not. And then screwed it to this uh, support panel back here. But then they've got a crossover bar that's pretty stout. Floor up over the doghouse. And then it looks like you can um, fold the passenger seat down over there and then fold this mattress down and kind of make like a uh, really skinny bed. Um, so I thought that was kind of neat. I don't know, again, if that's factory. Maybe somebody knows if uh, that's how these were. I've seen I've seen a few cabs like this with the, the extended, extend, extended panel, um, but most of the interior pictures I've seen, they did not have a mattress. So I wonder if this was, um, somebody kind of added it. There's no curtain, so I'm not sure 
Well, we haven't cleaned it out yet either, so kind of hard to say. But it's got the old tachograph here on the dash. Let's get you in there. It's a little dark. Sorry, it's bright outside. But uh, get your tachographs there. Um, being this thing, this thing is a uh, spring ride. But I mean, it holds air pressure like nobody's business. Days, it'll hold days air pressure, which I feel like is unheard of. Days. Um, Jeremy, days. It. Um, let's see. There's something I was gonna say. Going down the ladder here. Hang tight. Yeah. Um. So this truck originally had a trailer. Again, I did not buy the trailer. I do not need the trailer, but it was a single axle trailer. And uh, we'll insert a uh, original picture of this thing. Ooh, that's one other thing I'll talk about that's pretty neat about this truck. Um, but anyway, this truck used to haul school buses. And I, we got a picture of it, which is kind of neat, uh, back in the day. And it had the trailer. So I think they used the trailer as a ramp. It was a single axle trailer, so they would have it backwards. And then um, they would drive one bus up onto the back. And then they would put another bus on the trailer and then hook up. So this thing's kind of set up like a uh, nowadays car hauler. So the fifth wheel, let's see if I can come around here, put some light on it. So the fifth wheel is down underneath here. So, I mean, it's a regular full-size fifth wheel. And uh, so your trailer would hook up back here and um, away you go. You could haul two school buses. So it's kind of neat that we were able to get the uh, original uh, picture. And so then they got, I mean, this thing's built pretty stout. So um, definitely homemade looking, but pretty stout. Uh, and then it sets kind of pretty low. It's got one step down here and then it steps down more for getting your steer steer wheels down nice and low. Now this is not a original um, frame length. Uh, as we can see here, it's got the old uh, diagonal cut and then it's also double framed. I mean, it's got a, uh, it's got an insert, goes all the way up. Let's see how far does it go. I mean, it goes up past the motor. Yeah, it went up almost all the way to the front. Yeah. About mid-engine. If you can see up in there, it goes about mid-engine, follows all the way through, all the way to the back. I mean, they built this thing to hold some weight. Now, I'm not sure what uh, typical school bus weighs course this was back in the 80s and 90s because we found an old calendar inside the cab looks like maybe 1994 and then there's a uh, like a log book that they had where they did like maintenance and stuff and uh, again 1994 so I'm assuming 30 years this thing hasn't been used on the road so that's kind of neat and uh, and it actually runs and drives so that's a bonus for us <laughs> <laughs> I know the last couple ones we bought were uh, non runners. So, on this side, you can kind of see that diagonal cut again. Um, we'll have to do a little bit of repair here because it's cracked along this flange here on the top. So, we can probably uh, kind of repair that down the road here when we get to working on this one. And um, that was one of the cool things about this truck is it had an air shield and you'll see that in the picture prior to where we're talking now um, it had an air shield and i think in the 90s maybe late 90s a lot of them were called vera shields and they were adjustable but i think you had to manually adjust them and usually people just left them at one one spot but this truck here has a switch on the dash and it's for adjusting the air shields. I don't know if it had an electric motor on it and you could adjust it inside the cab, which I thought was kind of neat um, instead of having to do it manually. And um, so, yeah, so kind of the fun goal here, hoping with uh, Frank here 
is we can get it uh, kind of spruced up just a little bit kind of fix a few things on it redo a few things on it just enough to get it uh, roadworthy uh, I mean it's gonna need gonna need some tires we got some sidewall and dry rot and all that good stuff but um, what we thought would be kind of cool is to take Harold over here this car hauler and uh, pick it up and put it on the back of here and then we could take that setup to a uh, to a truck show maybe this year sometime we'll, we'll see what happens I'm not gonna guarantee that but I thought that'd be kind of a cool kind of a cool setup take it to a truck show and uh, just kind of have have something neat have something different <clears throat> from what you usually see uh, two cab overs one hauling the other but uh, yeah so this is Frank uh, welcome welcoming him to the channel what do you think of Frank Travis it runs it, nice. it <laughs> runs and it has power steering so that's a, a bonus um, but yeah so a couple things like I said we didn't get the trailer didn't need the trailer so we'll probably get rid of that fifth wheel off of there and like I said move move a few things around uh, probably address these tanks because they're kind of hard to fill like this one is uh, probably an original Kenworth Kenworth style tank and then it's right underneath that grate it's got a pretty good dent in the back so uh, the other tank on the other side yeah like right there like, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm assuming they went down through that hole maybe yeah I don't know I don't know how you're supposed to fill it maybe you could get the uh, maybe you could probably get it maybe you can get it in there. <laughs> then, uh, yeah the tank over on this side not to get long-winded here but this tank over here doesn't even fit it's a uh, Freightliner tank I believe but yeah it's not even sitting in the cradle it's kind of kind of funny because they have a Freightliner bracket and strap bolted to the Kenworth and they got a block of wood in between there so that looks kind of funny so it'd be nice to find some shorter Kenworth tanks or something that's gonna fit in there better and uh, not look so funny but yeah so that's Frank in a nutshell cleaner unit out of Colorado probably been off the road well let's see here there's a diesel program sticker. That one looks like it was marked off in 99. So maybe it was 1999. Still, the 90s. But uh, it's an all complete truck. Got a nicer uh, down there. It's got a little bit of cracking down on those bottom bolts there on the corners. But uh, yeah, nice original truck, all complete. I think there's too many things missing. I think it's just needs a needs a good cleaning and put some put a put a few fresh things on it. Go through it, service it. It's gonna be really nice. So you guys are great and gals. Thanks for watching. And uh, Travis and I appreciate it. We try and do our best. So if there's something uh, something you think we could work on or don't leave us a thumbs down but just tell us give us some suggestions maybe and uh we'll work on it that's what that's what life's about working on things and making things better so there's always something we can work on but uh yeah leave a comment subscribe do all those fun things and uh see you in the next one bye bye like when I try and start it there, like kicks it off in here. Yeah, it exploded the uh, terminal. On the battery? <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> what happened? I don't know. It exploded. All right, try it now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hold it on there. Okay, go. Holy cow! It melted. Wow!